Hey guys and girls. So today's video we're going to be looking at how to diagnose or troubleshoot a leaky uh, windshield washer fluid uh, system, either the tank, the pump, or the lines. So you can kind of see there a little bit of uh, a little bit of washer fluid that spilled out. I noticed it one day. We've got a lot of birds that are uh, perched up in this tree. It's springtime right now, and the wife was pulling out. She went to go get some bird crap off her windshield, and it just started gushing out. So I'll show you what that looked like. So obviously you can see it a little bit better because the shroud is off. Um, so it's dripping out even faster. So what I did is come underneath here. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven mil bolts that just need to come out. They look like that. And then I just pulled the shroud out of the way and it gives you full access to, this is the tank. And then there's the connection to the pump. This is the pump here. And then that's the line that actually goes out to the washer nozzles. So just by looking at it, originally I could see that the, the water was coming down or the fluid was coming down from further up top. So it wasn't the pump, it wasn't the connection at the pump. I thought maybe there would be a split line right here going in. That wasn't it. So you can kind of follow the lines up. So I followed it up top. This is going to be maybe a little hard to see on the video, but see where that line... Yeah, it doesn't want to focus on it. It did just for a second. But there's a line down there. There we go. And it's got a little nick in it. So, now we've diagnosed what the issue is. Just so you know, this is a Ford Fusion with the 3.5. Uh, engine in it. This is the sport model. This is the only model you could get this engine on it. Um, but the routing and the fluid tanks and everything should be the same on all fusions and it will be similar on pretty much all vehicles. So we know what the problem is now and now it's time to fix it. So hey guys and girls so this is the follow-up video to the diagnosing the uh, leaking uh, windshield washer pump uh, reservoir or line video. Uh, we'll see if we can actually join the two together. My uh, YouTube skills are not very good, but I hope I make f I make up for it in my uh, knowledge and helpfulness, and uh, in this case, probably the cheapness or the frugalness of uh, of my repairs. So, sorry for the noise. We got the washer fluid draining. I tried to just cap it with a piece of plastic, obviously, or a piece of tape. Sorry, but obviously it's wet, so it doesn't want to seal. Um, but anyways, last video, we figured that it was this line, and sure enough, it is. So what I did is I unhooked it from the reservoir, which is right underneath, right where that stream's coming out of. The black thing is the pump, and the hose is hooked up to there. So I unhooked it, and sorry for the road noise too, it will get loud but uh, hopefully you hear this. So what I did is I took a piece of, uh, this was 12 gauge, I believe it was 12 gauge wire, uh, just made a little hook on it, and I actually went in there and pulled it out this way. Luckily the nick was within an area that, uh, that I could actually reach it. I'm dropping things all over the place here. So this line comes up, the reservoir is right underneath, comes up, it goes, must go underneath this fairing and then it comes up actually right there sorry if I could point the camera right so it goes in through here and then down to the pump so I unhooked it luckily the nick is right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use heat shrink tubing to make this repair um, I dropped the other piece that I had leaning there but that's okay so this is just a tubing kit that I got from my uh, local hardware uh, supply store and it's got all kinds of different sizes in there so I picked out the size that fits most correctly and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over 
the nick, try to get it right on the center. We're going to apply some heat to it. You can use a lighter. I like these style because you can kind of get in different spots. It's a butane lighter, consistent heat. It's good for outside when it's windy. Uh, you can also use a heat gun. Uh, I just didn't want to set it up for this video. So without further ado, we are going to repair this. Wait for this car to go by. So we're just going to take the piece and make sure we get over the broken piece. We're going to try to hit it halfway. Okay. So I know the camera angle is not the best, but it's over the piece now. And the reason why we're doing this repair is because A, it's going to work. But uh, B, we're still in the pandemic, and uh, I just don't feel comfortable going out yet and exposing myself to uh, the COVID. And if I can avoid that, I will. You want to apply just even heat. You don't want to burn it. Go from as many directions and sides as you can. And you'll actually see, and I'll show you after, but it's actually starting to take the shape of the pipe itself because this pipe has a spline on it. And you can actually see where the nick is. That's how you know that it's got everything sealed super tight. And then like I said, what we're gonna do after is we're gonna add a second one. You can actually see there's the nick right there. So everything's sealed. You can see there is a, is the spline on the pipe, so it's actually following that. So in my opinion, we're good to go the way it is right now, but we're going to add a second piece on there. We're going to simply take this pipe, route it right back down, hook it up, and test her out. Hey guys and girls, so this is the moment of truth as they say. We've done all the repairs. we put the two layers of heat shrink onto the pipe. We actually routed everything back down there. You'll see my foot right there. So we've routed everything straight down. And you can actually reach up here, right up to the top, pull that hose back down, hook it into here. This is the reservoir, this is the pump, that's the uh, hose itself. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna give her a test run and see how we made out. How'd we do? Did it work? I don't know. I was inside. I couldn't see. Let's poke her. I'd say it worked. And again, this is a cheap fix. You could use uh, a brass or a plastic barb fitting that's the same size, hook everything together. That would work, obviously. That would probably be my preferred method, but um, once you cut that hose, you might lose it behind. Uh, the back of the fender here right so again it's not just to be cheap and do a quality repair it's also the fact that um, it's making it easier and you're limiting yourself especially in these times to COVID exposure a lot of people have heat shrink tubing available and uh, you know it, it's readily available around the house you don't have to actually go and buy anything so I hope you found this series informative if you did thumbs up you didn't thumbs down tell me why constructive criticism always welcome and think about hitting subscribe we're adding new stuff all the time until the next video take her easy